Hi everyone, welcome back to the Laravel 8 tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn about join clauses. A join clause is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column between them. There are several types of join clause used in Laravel like inner join, left join, right join, uh, cross join, advanced join, and subquery join. Okay. In this video, we will discuss about inner, left, and right join. Okay, so let's start with inner join. Uh, Cloud, before starting the join, let's create a table in our database. Okay, so just open new tab and here, uh, just open PHP my admin and uh, select the database, which is Laravel 8 Pro DB. And inside this database, Let's create a new table. Let's say table name is users. Okay. Number of columns four. Now click on go. Now just add the column name. Let's say ID. Data type in length. Let's say 10. Uh, set the auto increment. So just check this. Click on go and add here another column that's a name okay type uh, wire care length 100 phone data type uh, wire care and uh, length let's say 15 okay and email id so just write your email data type wire care and length 100 all right now just click on save okay now let's uh, let's insert some record inside this user table so just click on insert okay and just add here the name let's say name is uh, Jennifer okay phone number like this Email ID, it's a Jennifer at the rate gmail.com. Another record, name zone, phone number like this. Okay. And the email ID, zone at the rate gmail.com. Alright. Now click on go. Uh, just click on browse and uh, you can see here records okay now open post table and just click on browse and inside this table just add a new column so just click on a structure and here just add one after body and just click on go and column name user underscore id okay type in and length in and now click on uh, also set the default value so just select the null and now click on save all right now let's set the prime uh, foreign key with the user id column okay so just select this now click on index okay now just click on relation view and from here just select the column name which is user id select the database which is laravel 8 pro db okay then table uh, users and column id okay now click on save all right now foreign key added just click on browse and here just add the user id so just double click and select any one user let's say one for the second post one for the third post let's say two okay for the fifth uh, fourth post just select here let's say one 
okay and here two and for this post let's say two okay all right now let's see uh, the inner join first so laravel inner join clause selects records if the given column values matching in both tables okay now we have two tables one table is post table and uh, just browse both table so click on post table and now, now click on users table okay you can see here both table this is the user table and this is the post table okay Uh, both table uh, have ID columns, okay, and uh, there is a user ID column inside the post table, which is a foreign key for the users table. All right. So for creating inner join, uh, first of all, switch to the project and just open post controller. So just go inside the HTTP controllers and just open post controller, okay. And inside this controller, let's create a function for the inner join so just write here public function inner join clause okay and just write here dollar result is equal to db colon colon table and just add here the table name which is users table and let's join so just write here arrow join and inside this just add the second table which is post and just write here users.id column is equal to inside a single quote posts dot user id all right now call the get function uh, select function okay so just write here select just add the column name so just write here users dot uh, name and from the post table let's get the title so just write here posts dot title and here just write post dot body for the body okay post body and now call the get function all right all done and last simply return here dollar request okay now save this file and let's create the route for this function so go to the routes directory and just open web.php and here just create a new route just write here route colon colon get just add the url which is inner join okay post name uh, controller name which is post controller colon colon class add here the function name which is this one inner join clause and just paste here okay also give the name so let's write here it says fine post dot inner join okay now save this file now let's check it uh, so switch to the browser and just go to the url inner as join now click enter and you can see here the name title body okay these records are coming from both table okay this is coming from uh, users table and these are the coming from post table okay all right now let's see the left join okay the laravel left join clause returns all rows from the left table okay even if there are no matches in the right table the result is null from the right side so 
go to the post controller and let's create a function for left join so just write here public function left join clause okay and here just write dollar result result is equal to db colon colon table and table name users okay and here just add the inner uh, left join and add here the table name which is posts and here just add users.id equal or posts dot user underscore id okay now just call the get function so just write here get all right and here simply return dollar res, uh, result okay all right now let's create the route so go to the web.php and here just write route get and add the uri left this one okay and just add here the controller name post controller column column class and add here the function name which is just copy this function name left join clause okay and add here the name just write here the name post dot left join okay now save this file and let's check so switch to the browser and just write here left as join okay now press enter and you can see here the result okay all records are coming from left table okay all right now let's see right join the laravel right join clause returns all rows from the right table okay even if there are no matches in the left table the result is null from the left side all right so switch to the project and inside the Post controller let's create another function so just write here public function right join clause and here just write dollar result is equal to db colon colon table and just add the table name users right join Okay, and just add the table name posts then users dot id equal post underscore uh, user id. Okay, and now call the get function and just return here. dollar result okay all right now save this file and go to the web.php and create the route so just write here route get uh, right join just add here the post controller column column class function name which is this right join clause okay so just put here and also give the name here post dot right join all right now save this file now let's check so switch to the browser and just write here right join okay now press enter Uh, 
okay select asterisk from users right when post on users dot id let's check so switch to the post controller and here all right just add here the dot all right not underscore now save this file and just refresh the page and you can see here the result okay so in this way you can use the join clause in laravel 8 so that's all about join clause so thanks for watching this video and if you still have any kind of question you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching